to our panel, Prosecutor Keith Sullivan, Criminal Defense Attorney Randy Zellner back with us, and Mike Bako, who is a sports editor for the Daily National. I, I guess you could blame anything on anything, and why not go here, you know? I think it certainly looks that way, and it looks like some of these players are trying to capitalize on everything that's going on with the Saints bounty, trying to stay in the public's mind. These are players from the 70s, 80s, and 90s when this wasn't that big of an issue, and now it's in the forefront, not only of football, but high school football, college football, soccer. It spans through all sorts of sports, all different age brackets. I have friends, Randy, who say concussions could bring down this sport eventually with lawsuits and the rest. Which is exactly why the bounty scandal has no place in this particular courtroom. These new players, including Myron Guyton, a former giant, have, uh, uh, in my opinion, a legal problem and a practical problem. The legal problem is we don't just let any evidence into a case. Evidence has to be relevant, which means whatever's in dispute, does what you want to bring into the case make something more likely or less likely? Well, they would have brought this case regardless of whether or not there was ever a bounty scandal. So it has nothing to do with it. It's also very, very prejudicial. It doesn't belong in this case. Sadly, we missed a commercial break, so we have to end it here. Apologies. Car chases will do that. I'm Chef. That's it for the B. We're back tonight for the Fox Report, 7 Eastern, 6 Central. Log on to the